All right, welcome back to the Nice Fest channel, guys. We got two packages for you, so say hello to Ren, Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, Log, and TV, and Choo Choo, of course. And let's get started with two packages, guys. This is the Nice Fast channel. We're going to do an unboxing, and uh, appreciate you being here. Make sure you hit that subscribe, that like, uh, that uh, comment, everything else, the, the notification bell. <laughs> anyway, uh, lots of fun here. So let's start with this one. I know this is from Justin over at White Mountain Knives. I'm going to use the Keith the Knife Freak unboxing knife here. Let's see. Uh, well, I might have to take this off camera because there's no way to cut this uh, without showing the label. So give me just a second. We'll do it this way. There is no way to open this box the other way. So we'll do it like this. Uh, this first box comes by way of White Mountain Knives. You guys know I'm an affiliate over there at White Mountain Knives. Justin's a great dude, and he lets me borrow knives from time to time. And I saw these two, and I'm like, you know what? I want to check these out. So we have a Kubi, and we have a Kubi. Uh, obviously, we have a budget or a more budget-friendly Kubi, and we have a more high-end Kubi here. So let's start with the budgety-friendly one here, um, and see what we have. I know what it is. We have. Um, this is the KU336C in blue. Uh, shoot, this guy actually has a name, but I cannot remember the name of it. Um, and of course, as with all Kubi knives, it comes with this uh, sealed plastic bag. So we're going to cut that open so we can get to this. Now, this is the first uh, Kubi button lock that I have uh, experienced. Now, I will look up the name of this. I don't remember, but I'll look it up. But it's either way, it's the 336 C in Aus 10 and Blue G10. Uh, so this is the first Kubi button lock that I've seen. There we go. Um, it's G10. And there's your button lock all recessed down in there. You got a very, you know, tallish but smallish knife. Uh, you got the typical Kubi pocket clip sitting on top. Uh, sandwich liners there. Let's see what we got. Okay, different uh, kind of shape to the to the uh, flipper tab. It kind of slopes back here, so it's going to end up being more of a push button. All right, no real sound to it, but um, just kind of a shunk. All right, but it wow, really interesting uh, feeling action. There's uh, definitely bearings. You can see there, very fidgety, comes on down as long as I hold it. Uh, really interesting looking blade. Look at this blade shape. Lots of belly, but almost a sheep's footy thing going on here. Let's see, can we middle finger flick it using the fuller? Absolutely we can. Um, very, very nice. Now, really coarse jimping up here. Very nice, okay. Uh, yeah, so a really interesting... A uh, button lock knife from Kubi. Very, very interesting. Again, it's probably the quietest knife I've ever heard. Let's hear. I mean, there's not a lot of sound going on. <laughs> it's very quiet. All right, let's see what the second one is here. I'm going to carefully cut the pack, the plastic off because I return these to Justin when I'm done and I don't want the box all scratched up. So we'll be very careful. All right. Keith, thank you for that unboxing knife, man. That thing is is still super sharp. I have stropped it a couple times. All right. So this is the KU, uh, excuse me, KB, which is the higher end one, uh, 171H in S90V. Guys, this is going to be uh, a design from our friend Sharif. Sharif was on the channel a couple weeks ago. Again, sealed package again. Um, Sharif was on the channel uh, live stream a couple weeks ago. And when I saw this one drop over at White Mountain, I'm like, you know what? I got to check out Sharif's knife. Um, you know, I love the momentum. And um, shoot, I can't remember the name of the other one. See, I always got to do that. The momentum and the... Oh, well. All right. Well, this is the Veloce. Uh, so this is a super sleek and aerodynamic looking model. Uh, you have a hole and a flipper tab. 
Uh, you have titanium scales with some really cool chamfering here. Really awesome looking, as you can see. Kind of turns back on itself. Really cool. Really nice gray uh, finish with a lanyard loop there. All right, let's see what we got. Bam. Okay, very nice. This is a frame lock. Nice. All right, bam. Very good. And thumb. Oops. Oh, come on. Nope. I think I'm putting pressure on the lock bar. Yeah, there we go. Got back and it was fine. Um, yeah, really interesting knife. Very interesting. Very pokey looking. Uh, it has a really interesting shape. Um, kind of comes down here. So you have kind of a bulbous in there to kind of grip onto. We'll talk more about all that in the review. Very, very cool. Good looking knife for sure. So let's leave that one open. All right, let's see where the other box go. This one comes from, um, well, okay. It comes from Concept uh, through the Apex Group. Again, same thing, guys. Trying not to show addresses. Um, this one comes from Concept through the Apex Group, and it comes from our buddy Maddis Faction, uh, which means it's probably going to be I don't know, something in, no, uh, th there's stickers in here, good. So guys, we now have some Mattisfaction stickers uh, to give away on Monday nights in the swag packs. Awesome, awesome, I love his logo, so I'm really glad he sent those. You guys are gonna love them. Got the Phoenix there, Mattisfaction. All right, let's see, let's make sure. Well, look, there's more, there's more stickers. They're falling out of the package, there we go. All right, so we have a concept knife here. And let's see, can I remember the name of this? Yes, it's the egress, the concept egress. Um, and this again is going around the Apex group, so I thought I'd check it out. It is a niche design. It is the egress, um, really cool. Right off the bat, kind of thick, uh, but it has a really interesting look. You can see this micarta. Uh, very nicely done. Kind of a natural micarta, I guess, with a black blade. Feels like a decent detent, so let's give it a wham. There you go. Very thin, like you would expect a niche design to be. Okay, smooth, but uh, not like super duper droppy. Uh, I'm going to have to look. Yeah, this may be washers. I'm pretty sure this is washers. Um, interesting. I'll look it up, but that's sure what it looks like. Now the hole is pretty big, but I'm not having any trouble, uh, kind of disengaging the, the detent. I'm getting locked in right there and it flicks right out. No problem whatsoever. Look at this nice tall blade with a thin, uh, flat grind. Very nice. Wow. So, um, this came from Satisfaction, the king of jimping. Um, and so I'm pretty sure he must have loved this because we have jimping back here, we have jimping up here, and we even have jimping out here. Uh, so this is the uh, Jimtastic here. Uh, Jimtastic. So we're going to call this the concept Jimtastic. No, I'm kidding. Very, very nice little knife. Uh, well, not little. It's pretty big, actually. Um, nice grip. Four fingers all the way. Really nice. Now that jimping, I, I'm landing between the jimping here uh, where my natural grip is. So that's interesting. Um, but a really cool knife. Let's see if we can fit it here. Uh, so there you go. That's what we've got. So uh, again, from White Mountain Knives, I've got the uh, this guy. And I can't, man, uh, hold on. It's the, what is it? I'm going to look it up right now. The KU336. It's like, it starts with a, maybe a D or a B. <laughs> All right, we're going we're gonna to tell you the name of this. I'm here, I promise. It is the... Really? Maybe it doesn't have a name. It's just a 332. Ah, uh, Creon. So I was way off. C-R-E-O-N, Creon. So the Creon the Veloce, and the Concept Egress from Concept and our friend Mattis Faction. So really, really cool stuff, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Which one are you most excited for the review? I'm kind of excited for that 
uh, Kubi button lock just to check it out there. Um, really interesting. I noticed they seem to be using a lot of OS 10 um, on their budget models recently. They were uh, doing a little bit of everything like 14C and D2, and now it seems like they may have settled on some um, on some OS 10 for a while. So that's interesting. Uh, so there you go, guys. Let me know what you think. Give me your comment and give me a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching the Knives Fast channel.